In this video for section 2.3, we're going to start by talking about horizontal and vertical lines. A horizontal line has an equation of the form y equals b. And this should make sense because we talked earlier about how the slope of a horizontal line is zero. So that means m is zero. So if we plug that into y equals mx plus b, plug in zero for m, zero times x is always going to be zero because zero times anything is zero. And zero plus b, well, I can just simplify that to b. So y equals b is going to be the result, where b is the y-intercept. So I plot b on the y-axis, and the line is going to be a horizontal line through that point. So example 5 says to graph y equals 4. So I'm going to plot a point on 4 on the y-axis, and then I can just draw the line through the point. So next you should look at checkpoint problem number five. Do this in your notes, check your answer, and then move on with the video. Next we're going to talk about vertical lines. Vertical lines are given by an equation of the form x equals a. So horizontal lines are y equals a number, there's no x in the equation. A vertical line is x equals a number and there's no y in the equation. The number that x equals is the x-intercept, and so um, we can plot that point on the x-axis and then draw a vertical line through that point. As we talked about earlier, the slope of a vertical line is undefined. So for x equals 2, I would plot a point on 2 on the x-axis. Now when you're doing this on the homework, it's going to have you click on a second point like we did with the other types of lines. So you can just click any second point that's on the line. So I could click here, um, I could click up here. It doesn't matter where you plot that second point as long as it's going to make a vertical line when you draw the line through the two points. So next you should look at checkpoint problem number six. Do this in your notes, check your answer, and then move on with the video. Lastly, we're going to talk about graphing linear equations of the form ax plus by equals c. So x and y are going to be on the same side of the equation, and it's going to be equal to some number, um, whatever number that is, on the other side. So to graph these equations, what we're going to use is something called the cover-up method. First, you're going to cover up the term with the y, so the whole thing. So I'm going to cover up negative 3y and then you solve the remaining equation for x. So my remaining equation is 4x equals 6. And then to get x by itself, divide both sides by 4, and that gives me x equals 1.5. This is the x-intercept, so I plot it on the x-axis. So it'll be about right there, between 1 and 2. Now, I'm going to do the same thing, but cover up the term with the x. So I'm going to cover up the 4x. The equation that's left is negative 3y equals 6. And then I get y by itself by dividing. In this case, I get y equals negative 2. So I plot negative 2 on the y-axis. And then once I have those two points, I draw in the shape of the line, or in the case of the my lab math, they will draw the line in for you. So that's what um, that line is going to look like. Now it's important um, to remember that these aren't giving you a single point. Probably the most likely way that people are to make a mistake with this is to try to plot the point 1.5 comma negative 2. These are the x and y intercepts, and so you plot the x equals point on the x-axis and the y equals point on the y-axis and that gives you your two points. So I have a checkpoint problem here. Um, it's 3x minus 2y equals 6, so you should draw this graph, check your answer, and then you can move on to the homework.